Something you told me on one of the other shows in discuss in, in talking about yourself, you said I, I don't I don't play a character, and you said your uncle was very much the same way. The sheik, it wasn't a character that was him. But there must have been times where you, as your other alter ego Terry, would see your uncle in a way nobody else. Saw. Yeah, um, but. There'd be some times like that, but most of the time he was 24 hours. That's the way he was. Not running around speaking Arabic, but always the same guy on his way to the ring as he was on the way to the dressing room, on the way to the car, and on the way to the hotel. He was the same guy, you know. Not going crazy, of course, but I didn't. It wasn't like turn it on, turn it off. It was always on, you know. Um, how close in your immediate family was? The Sheik. He's my mother's brother. Okay, your mother's so brother. Like, so yeah. he was always around. Any family functions, yeah. and, and he was always a part of your life, even Pretty when you much, were very yeah. small. Yeah. The wrestling family fascinates me. I've talked to Lanny Poffo about this, and anyone who, Greg Gagne. Is everyone kayfabing each other all the time? Like, Mrs. Farhat couldn't come in and say, oh, oh I had your work last night. It, she had to be kayfabe to a certain degree. Yeah, kind of like, uh, and when I first started, yeah, we, we kayfabe the, the other parts of the family who wasn't in the business. Right. You know, now, you know, you insult their intelligence. Now, now if they don't know, I don't clue them in. But if they, if they ask me, you know, I'll, I'll tell them the truth, you know. Oh, today, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about in the 70s. Back then, we worked them. We didn't let anybody in on it. <laughs> would, would, your, would your aunt... Be talking business, of course. With the sheik. Oh yeah, and Carney. She can speak Carney better than That's me. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, she knew the business way better than I do. I only know how to wrestle. She knows the business. You know, she knew it better than Sheik did too. Sheik knew wrestling. He didn't know the business business part of it. She knew everything. How much older uh, was he than than you? The sheik. Yeah. Um, uh, he was fifty nine when I was tw nineteen. When I was twenty one. No. Okay. So. Yeah. So she's yeah. passed also, your aunt. Yeah, yeah, she just died last year. Oh, okay. Um, what about uh, your side of it? Your mom, your dad, did they talk about what uncle did? My mom did. My dad was never around, so I don't know what he talked about. But my mom, yeah, she talked about it, but she didn't know. She was just scared for him. And you know, although he was a vicious heel, she would cry for him. <laughs> it was funny, right. you know. Well, that's the thing, too. When, when somebody, in your, when you're kayfabing your family and the guy... Is playing a scumbag on, on TV <laughs> or yeah. some fearsome character. It's like, yeah. you, do you have to go to school and listen to shit about like your uncles? No, no. The, the devil. When I went to school. Everybody goes, oh, the sheik's my favorite. But once I turned my back, fuck that sheik, you know. But when they did to not my face, you. They, were, they were his favorite. You know, they, they were the favorites. Um, your childhood in Michigan, outside of your uncle running around stabbing people and throwing fireballs, <laughs> uh, a normal childhood. Yeah. See, uh, everybody thinks I know like the. Uh, he took me in the wrestling business when I was a baby. No, he kayfabed me up until I was 19, which, you know, uh, he always knew I wanted to be a wrestler because whenever I came to his house, whenever we came to his house, we came to, went to visit him like, almost every Sunday for a thousand years. I'd always stare at him. And, and then when I said, I want to be a wrestler to him, he goes, I know. I go, how'd you know? He goes, I can tell the way you stared at me for the last 20 years. <laughs> you know, he just knew it, you know. Were other guys over for, like, was Abby there for Sunday dinner? Sometimes, yeah. Every Sunday would be a different guy. You know, Bobo or, or Mighty Igor or Don Cat. Somebody would be over Sunday because Saturday they did Kobo Ha. You know. Oh, uh, okay. So and they'd so sleep over. Hall, they'd go to his house, relax okay. a day, and then go home or would go back on the road or whatever. But whoever the big star was or whoever Sheik was wrestling that week, uh, he usually brought them home. Would you hear them to him and Bobo talk? No, no, Carney? no. They were never in the same room together. They were in the same house. You're fucking kidding no, me. No, Bobo would sit in the living room and eat, and Sheik would sit in the dining room and eat. And they would never talk or anything. Baby face and heels were separated yeah, in the even home. In the house. <laughs> yeah. I ask people if they're separated in the building, <laughs> they're separated in the house. Even in the house. Yeah. Phenomenal. Um, so, wow, so you never saw interaction. But now no. if a heel was over, that was okay then, or no? no even, even then, then she didn't want to see you until it was time to work, but you can come and take anything you want from his house or, you know, help yourself, but he just didn't want to talk to you. <laughs> you have a big estate? Oh, yeah, a giant mansion. Okay. So he did well. He was a good, in addition to being a good worker, he was a good he made business a lot man. of money, yeah. yeah. I think you told me his best uh, advice to you was save, no, Lanny said Angelo's advice was save your money. You told me his best advice to you was, do you remember what you told me? Uh, Never suck a dick. Ah, that dude. <laughs>
<laughs> it was like you think for a job, I think, was the, was the exact quote. Yeah, well, that's true. To, and maybe to that's why you never made it in the WWE. <laughs> that could have been. <laughs> um, t- could you please tell me a sweet moment from The Sheik? It's, it's, seeing him play with a grandchild or, or crying at a sad movie. C- could you please make him human? Yeah, he'd kill me. But uh, there's a lot of times you see him like that with, with uh, his granddaughter Susie, and you know it almost made me sick how nice he was. Really? You know? Yeah, because I always wanted to see him stay the mean sheik, but he'd be the mean sheik to everybody except for her. You know, <laughs> he was the double mean sheik for me. Once you started training, or when you were no, kid? once I started training. Before that, he was nice to me. Well, yeah, that's a whole thing. I mean, going to work for him. I mean, what kind of? First of all, what kind of pressure did that? Put well, on I was you? scared to death, but uh, you know. Uh, he only taught me each lesson once. I got it the first time. You know, I, I'm not saying I'm smarter than anybody else, but it just seems like whenever he said something, uh, I never got it wrong twice. You know. Right. Um, wh- how would he reprimand you? Wh- wh- <laughs> would he do it privately? Pull you aside and say, "Listen." Uh, you yell at me in public. Yell at me in private. Uh, not really slap me around, but kind of tug me around, push me around. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But was but, he like that with all the boys? No. Or just uh, just me. Mm. Because I remember, he, like he he he, was, he told me to get everybody some coffee. I did, and then I said something, and he just he he re- reamed into me, and then the other guys come out, pulled me aside, goes, "Don't worry about man, he doesn't like you. It's all right," because they didn't know I was his nephew, you know. So, oh, so he hid that from. Oh yeah, yeah. So for that there would be years, no. For five years, we didn't tell anybody I was his nephew. Even we didn't even tell people if they asked. The first five years was no. After that, if they asked, I would say yes, you know. Okay. And that was the Sabu the Elephant uh, uh, back then? No, I was Terry SR uh, for my first five years. I don't know oh, what that SR okay. means. And then uh, he, he named me Sabu the Elephant Boy on my sixth year. Okay. So you didn't do any of that for the first five years? The, no. The head, okay. And then actually when I was Sabu, the, when I first got named Sabu, I had the Indian headdress. And uh, he wanted me to be an Indian, like a Hindu Indian. Uh-huh. And I go, why? He goes, because you're a heel. I want you to be a heel. I said, well, how's that going to make me a heel? He goes, because I hate Indians. <laughs> So he hated Indians, so he wanted me to be an Indian, so people wouldn't do it and like me either. Who were people in his inner circle that were also uh, the creative types, running the business, doing the booking with him? Who was his inner circle? Um, my Aunt Joyce, for one. She was a big influence. Wow. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, there's a lot of guys like, you know, Ernie Roth, you know, there's Wiz, a lot of guys. Wizard, that, yeah. but, I mean, there wasn't a lot of guys. It seems like a lot of guys, but there's a few guys he, like, trusted their opinion, you know. When did you l- learn? You said he kayfabed you to when you were 19, but did you, did you know wrestling was a work until you were 19? Or? Uh, I, I didn't know, no, no, uh, but, you know, you kind of know. How was it revealed to you? He never, till this day, I said, it's like this. It's this. I learned it, and he assumed I, I caught on. He never said, okay, now this is Kay Fabin, this is it, or this is how it's done, this is it. He just said, do it like this, and now ease up on it. <laughs> okay, know? so he's telling you don't kill the guy. First he said kill the guy. Then he said, okay, now, now don't kill Work the guy. backwards. <laughs> yeah. I see. Right. Well, that's... that's but um, there is a time where they have to, somebody, a book or him, has to say the result is going to be this tonight. Okay, yeah, there was a day he said he did that, because my first uh, few matches, like 20 matches, were all draws, 10-minute uh, uh, time limit. So I didn't know, how, and even until like my 20th match, I still didn't have someone tell me a finish, mm. you know, up or down. And then, uh, of course, for the next five years, I was down. I go, why do I got to lose all the time? <laughs> <laughs> he had your job for five years. Yeah, even when to I humble you? Even, to when humble I, you? even when I wasn't on the same show as him, he sent me to West Virginia or something. And I go, yeah, I, I'm, I'm Terry SR. And uh, my uncle says, I got to go over it. And he goes, no, your uncle just calls it. You got to go down. <laughs> why do you think? <laughs> just to teach me humble, you know. Right. So you'll appreciate the wins. Yeah, and appreciate, you know, uh, following orders when you don't want to. You know, learn to follow orders when you don't want to. The rest of your family, um, what did your parents do? You said you weren't close to your father. My dad, I don't know what he did. I, he, uh, I'm not sure, but my mother was a cook and a homemaker. And uh, me and my mother's always been together until she died a few years ago. Like, uh, we always lived together for the whole, my whole life. And uh, did you know your dad at all? I know who he, nah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know who he is, yeah. But he just wasn't in, present in no, your they, life? No, my mom and dad got divorced when I was three. Uh-huh. So I, I don't really have no recollection like, I know who he is. I've seen pictures of him, but there's no feeling there, you know. Okay. Um, siblings? Yeah, I got three brothers, three sisters. 
What do they do? Uh, Normal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they do it. Most of them, a couple of them are in the factory. You know, uh, Oldsmobile fits your body, and another one <coughs> works at Walmart. You know, stuff like that. In in Michigan, the, yeah, the yeah. auto industry. What do they make of what you do? <coughs> I, I don't know. Uh, at first, they laughed at me when I was younger because uh, you know I was too small. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I, I think they're proud of me. I'm not sure. They don't communicate with you that, yeah. that, holy shit, I saw you on TV last night, it was amazing what you did. Yeah, but you know, you kind of take that with a grain of salt. You, you know, they're only telling you you did good because you're in front of them. Now, you know, I had, I had a horrible match a few weeks ago, and someone goes, oh, great match. I go, <laughs> of course you're going to say that, you know, I'm in front of you, but what are you going to say behind my back? That's what I really want to hear. <laughs> but of course my family puts me over in my face, to my face, but you know, yeah, yeah, I think they like me. <laughs> They, what were their relationships with the Sheik? Like, none of them were enamored by him and wanted to follow into not, that Not business. that I know of. You know, they were close to him growing up like I was, just that I was a little closer after I grew up. A lot closer after I grew up. Um, what did you refer to the Sheik as when you were a kid? Sheik. No, you know. I as a kid? Dad. Poppy, yeah, Grandpa, dad, nothing, say, nothing. Yeah, well, that's what he wanted. I didn't say Dad. I didn't say Uncle. He, it was Sheik. Sheik. Yeah. Even his wife, my mother. Um... All those kids didn't call him dad. They called or or Edward or they called him Sheik. You know, his kids didn't call him yeah. dad. Called yeah, him everybody Sheik. Everybody called him Sheik, and if he didn't, he corrected you. Right. 